Hi there, this is Jenna with Time to Pet, and in this video, we will be reviewing how to add a new service to our system. To add a new service, click the Services section on the left-hand sidebar of your dashboard. Next, click the Plus New Service button. When creating a service, you'll set the service name. This is the name of your service, and for this service, we will set this to 60-Minute Dog Walk. Next, you'll pick a default duration for the service. The default duration is how long this service lasts when scheduled on your calendar. We'll set this for 60 minutes. The mobile app timer section controls how long the timer will last when this event is running on your mobile app. In most cases, this is set to be the same as your default duration. Next, you can choose whether or not this service can be selectable by your clients on the mobile app or client portal when requesting the service. You can uncheck this option if you do not want clients to be able to select this service. Time to Pet supports GPS route tracking through our mobile app, and when enabled, Time to Pet will track all of the GPS coordinates for the duration of this event. For dog walking, you may want to enable GPS route tracking, but other services like cat sitting or pet sitting, you may want to skip enabling this option here. Next is the event started notification. This option only appears if you have the event started notification enabled in your mobile app settings. When enabled, this will send a push notification to the client each time the visit is started on the mobile app. Next is the late reminder. This feature allows you to set an automated late reminder notification that can be sent to you and to the assigned staff member if this event is not started or completed in the allotted time. Services can also have a description and a private note. The description is shown to clients when requesting the service so they know what the service entails. Clients do not see the private note added here. Next, you can set a color for this service if you have the scheduler set to color by service. Next up is the rates section. The cost here is the general amount that a typical client will pay you. In Time to Pet, you can set custom rates on a client by client basis directly on their profile under the rates tab. If you are required to collect sales tax for a service, you can mark the service as taxable here. Make sure to set your tax rates in company settings in your account. The default user rate is how much you would generally pay a staff member for completing this event. This can either be a percentage of the cost of the client or a flat dollar amount. Just like clients, staff members can have a unique staff member rate added to the Rates tab of their profile. Time to Pet also supports automated extra pet rates. This allows you to charge extra if multiple pets are included with the service and the ability to determine how much you pay your staff members for those extra pets. For example, if you would charge two extra dollars for each additional pet, no matter how many extra pets were added, you would put two dollars here next to First Extra Pet Plus. If you charge more, depending on how many additional pets are added, you can change this drop down menu to include different rows here and different prices. Let's scroll back up to the top of the page to take a look at some other options for editing the services. First up is the scheduling tab. Many pet care businesses do not offer all of their services in the same schedule box. For example, you may have a boarding service that is only available in your overnight schedule block or a cat sitting service that is only available in your anytime schedule block. With limit services to specific schedule blocks, you can ensure that clients don't request the incorrect schedule block along with their service. For example, if we want clients to only be able to select early morning, morning and afternoon for our dog walk, we can check the boxes here and click save changes so that these will be the only timeframes available for our clients to select if they choose the dog walk service. Next up is the auto fees tab. 
Auto fees allow you to enable automated fees for services that occur outside of your normal service hours, as well as services that occur on Saturday or Sunday. Please note that if both of these are enabled with additional fees charged to the client, they will both stack together and apply for any service scheduled after hours and on a weekend. You can also add how much your staff members will get paid for providing these services after hours or on weekends. Lastly is the Frequency Discounts tab. Frequency Discounts allow you to set automated rules if this particular service is scheduled X number of times per day, per week, or per month. For example, if we wanted to set up a frequency discount for dog walk 60 minutes for two or more walks scheduled within the same day, we can set the frequency period to daily and set our first level when two or more visits per day are scheduled and charge $28 per visit. You can set multiple levels of your discount if you'd like to charge a little bit less every time more events get scheduled on the calendar. You can also override the staff pay rate if the staff pay rate should change based on the frequency discount for the clients as well. When you're done on this page, click Save Changes at the bottom. Thanks for joining us for our video on how to add a service to your Times Pet account. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at support at timetopet.com.